and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about whether Mr. Collins should have married Mary Bennett. So I see this idea a lot. I see people on the internet suggest it, and actually in this card game that I play sometimes called Marrying Mr. Darcy, if you play as Mary Bennett, your ideal match is Mr. Collins. Even in Pride and Prejudice, Mrs. Bennet seems to think that Mary might be the most likely of the sisters to accept Mr. Collins after Elizabeth turns him down. So, should Mr. Collins have married Mary Bennet, would she have been a better choice for him than Charlotte Lucas? I can see where the idea comes from. Mary is definitely the most like Mr. Collins out of the sisters. Both of them are a little bit stuck up, kind of sticks in the mud. They both are obsessed with reading Fordyce's sermons. They both are socially awkward and a little bit puritanical. I definitely think that they are kind of kindred spirits in a lot of ways. But I would say that I think they have too much in common and the things that make them different would have made them miserable. They wouldn't have brought out the better in each other. They would have really just conflicted, I think, in a lot of ways. Basically, the thing that I think would be the biggest drawback to a marriage between the two of them would be his kind of social climber and flattering the upper class kind of tendencies. He really wants to make a good name for himself with Lady Catherine de Bourgh. He goes to dinner parties. He talks for ages about how she picked out the cabinets. He pretty much worships the ground that she walks on. And I don't think that Mary would have any time for that, and I think she would find it pretty annoying, actually. She would just want to be left alone with her books and her piano, and he would be saying, let's go to Lady Catherine de Bourgh's house, let's go to a dinner party, and, you know, let me recite for you all the compliments that I'm going to pay to her, and she would just be like, I do not care. She's not really as fiery as Elizabeth in that I don't think she would openly stand up to him or criticize him very much, but it would make her miserable. And she's also not enough like Charlotte. Charlotte, I think, is very able to have the upper hand in their relationship. She's able to manipulate him a little bit when she needs to. If she wants him out of the house, she's going to encourage him to garden or go on long walks or whatever. Things that he would do anyway and that he enjoys, but she is going to pressure him to do them more to keep him away from her when she doesn't want his company. Mary's not smart enough to think of anything like that. Charlotte, I think, is much better able to handle the Lady Catherine situation because while she may not overdo the flattery as much as he does, and I don't think she's quite as ambitious as him, she does understand that need to sometimes not exactly say what you mean, but say what somebody wants to hear or, you know, use your situation to the best of your advantage in the same way as Mr. Collins. She was able to figure out exactly how to get him to propose. You know, it's really clear, I think, that the life that she has with him is exactly what she wanted, even though it's completely a loveless marriage of convenience. She wanted out of her parents' house, she wanted to be married, and I think he was totally fine with that because he also, I don't think, was really looking for romance. He was looking for a respectable wife to show off to make Lady Catherine happy and someone who he could reasonably get along with. Regardless of what Mrs. Bennet might want or what the older sisters are thinking about, I think that Mary really shows kind of a disdain towards the idea of, maybe not the idea of marriage, but all of the social customs that go along with the courtship and all of that. She has no interest in dancing at balls. She has no interest in making polite conversation. All of that is kind of necessary in order to get Mr. Collins to like you. Because while he's a little bit of a stick in the mud, he's not as much of one as Mary. He wants to be invited over for dinner, and he wants you to make polite conversation, and he wants you to dance with him even. He, he talks about how he doesn't think that being a clergyman means that he can't dance. I have no idea if Mary would share that opinion or not, but I know that she doesn't want to dance. So in that way, I think that they are really not a good match. The other reason that I don't think that they're a good match is because her family has already insulted him multiple times. Jane? He wants to marry Jane. She's beautiful, but she's already in love with Mr. Bingley and she is expecting a proposal from him any minute now. So what about Elizabeth? She's decent looking and she's, you know, she's a little bit spirited, but she'll do. What? She's not interested either? So if he were to go, you know, just go down the line to the next Bennett sister, I feel like he would see that as kind of looking a little bit desperate, trying a little bit too hard. Mary is also viewed as less desirable, I think, than the older Bennett girls. She's not 
frivolous and silly in the way that Kitty and Lydia are, but her personality definitely leaves something to be desired, and her appearance is described as being relatively plain. So whereas Jane is beautiful and kind, and Elizabeth is very intelligent, Mary is just kind of mediocre, and I think Mr. Collins would think he deserves better than that. So if Mr. Collins were to go for Mary after already being rejected by Elizabeth, and viewing Mary as less desirable in the first place, he would feel like he's settling for less than what he deserves, which Mr. Collins is never going to do. And despite thinking that Mary is uh, not an altogether likable character, and probably not somebody that I would want to be friends with in real life, I think that she deserves better than a guy that thinks she is less valuable and less desirable and would feel like he's settling for her. So I think that Collins and Charlotte actually work pretty well as a couple, even though it's a completely loveless marriage of convenience. I think that they both are aware of that and they're both okay with that. I don't think that either one of them really views marriage as being about love in the way that Lizzie and Jane do. I think that my ideal ending for Mary would be either she just decides marriage is not for her and because her older sister's married well, she's able to do that without becoming destitute, or she eventually finds someone who will bring out the best in her and will love her without viewing her as second best. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to stick around for more, feel free to subscribe. I post Monday and Thursday, and I talk about reading, writing, classic literature, and so much more.